story time with Sierra. Today's story is The Three Horrid Little Pigs. One, two, three. The Three Horrid Little Pigs by Liz Pickle. Once upon a time, three horrid little pigs lived with their mother in a tiny house. The little pigs were very bad and they drove their mother crazy. I've had enough of you pesky pigs, she told them. It's about time you moved out and made your own way in the world. So she packed their bags and sent them on, sent them away, out. The first horrid little pig came across a big pile of straw. This straw's perfect for me to build my house, he thought. But whose straw was it? It was the cow's, oh no. But the little pig was lazy and he didn't make his house, straw house very strong at all. Luckily, a big friendly wolf who just happened to be a builder was passing by. Good grief, said the wolf. What a mess the house is. I'll see if I can help. Gasp. Good enough. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Asked the wolf. No way, shouted the pig. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one paw on my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll kick you right out. I only wanted to help, said the wolf sadly, as he went on his way. Oh dear. The second horrid little pig found a huge pile of twigs. These twigs will make a great house for me, he thought. But the little pig was even lazier than his brothers. Whose sticks are they? Oh no, it's the birds. So his house was a disaster. When the friendly wolf saw the terrible tangle of twigs, he thought, oh no, that house is an accident waiting to happen. I better help. Goodness me. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Asked the wolf. Get lost, shouted the rude little pig. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin will I let a wolf in. Put one hot paw in my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll throw you right out. I'm sorry, said the wolf. I only wanted to help. Move it, wolfie. The third horrid little pig was so lazy he couldn't be bothered to build a house at all. So he found a nice chicken coop instead and moved in. Pig stole their house! Quack, quack! The friendly wolf just happened to be nearby. Oh my, he thought. Those poor chickens! I must speak to that pig. Little pig, little pig, may I come in? Scram! shouted the pig. Not by the hands of my chinny chin chin, why the wolf in? Put one paw in my house and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll hold it right there, said the wolf. This isn't your house. It's the chicken's house. Who cares? said the little pig. Now go away, all of you. What a horrid little pig he was. So the kind wolf invited all the chickens back to his house, which was built from bricks and very strong indeed. Meanwhile, the house built by the first horrid little pig, the one with straw, was being eaten up by a herd of hungry cows. Cow straw! The house built by the second little pig Remember, that was Twigs, was being pulled apart by a flock of angry birds. Our nest, 
last, you've taken our twigs. And the third horrid little pig was being pecked by a rooster and went wee, 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 all the way back to his brothers, which was just what the rooster wanted. Now, none of the pigs had a home, but the wolf did, and it looked warm and cozy. I'm liking this house. Me too. This house would be perfect for us, said the horrid little pigs. So they waited until dark, then they climbed onto the roof and began to slide down the chimney. The wolf heard the horrid little pigs, so he got out a great big pot of boiling soup. You must be hungry, said the wolf. He really was the sweetest, loveliest wolf ever. The friendly wolf let the pigs stay, and after a while, they stopped being lazy, horrid little pigs, and learned how to build a sturdy house made of bricks. which was big enough for everyone. And they all lived happily ever after. The end.